and welcome a new case of probability distribution and now this time we are going to study a very simple case of a lottery ticket now this time we are going to study the point or topic purchase point of view in case of insurance company case we studied the case seller's point of view or insurance company's point of view now we are going to study the case purchaser point of view in case of both the logic is more or less similar the case is a lottery sells 10000 tickets at rupee 1 per ticket a price of rupees 5000 will be given to the winner of the first draw suppose you have bought a ticket how much should you expect to win <laughs> i will expect rupees 5000 that's it so okay. now what exactly is a lottery ticket costs rupees rupee 1 per ticket the prize money is rupees 5000 and total 10000 tickets are drawn that means out of 10,000, only one ticket will be eligible to get the prize money of rupees 5,000. That means on remaining 9,999, nothing will be given. Now, purchaser's point of view, the purchaser has two mutually exclusive possibilities. One is winning and another is no winning. So, the purchaser wins then what will happen 4999 will be the gain because 5000 is prize money but one is cost of one ticket so ultimately after giving rupee 1 he will receive a prize money of rupees 5000 so his net gain will be 4999 what is the probability of this kind of event only one against 10,000 because total 10,000 tickets have been sold and on only one ticket the prize money will be given so the probability is 1 by or 1 against 10,000 similarly another possibility mutually exclusive is the okay, no win the purchaser of the ticket doesn't win anything then what will happen is one rupee has gone that means loss of only one rupee because per ticket cost is one rupee and what is the possibility out of 10,000 tickets on 9,999 this is going to happen so ultimately 4,999 into 1 by 10,000 so it comes to 0.4999 positive but in this case x into p of x is minus 0.9999 so ultimately the expectation is minus 0.5 that means the expected gain of the purchaser of the ticket is minus 0.5 Now let us reconcile. Suppose that all the 10,000 tickets are bought by a person. So total cost will be rupee 1 into 10,000 tickets. So it will be rupees 10,000. Again, he will receive prize money. Rupees 5,000. So at the cost of 10,000 rupees, he bought 10,000 tickets, but he received only 5,000 as prize money. So his net loss comes to rupees 5,000 on 10,000 tickets. So average net loss on one ticket. will be 5000 rupees divided by 10000 tickets so it comes to 0.5 since it is loss we use negative sign that's it thank you very much